Hey guys, what is up? And welcome to today's episode on the channel. This is the first episode of Train Simulator. I'm just going to be planning to bring you some Train Simulator content. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you now and again, like one, maybe once a week, once every month. We don't know, it depends on how this is. It's going to be another, like, kind of almost place filter, for, uh, holder. Um, just to sort of play a different game and bring some different content to the channel. We're going to be today on the Southwestern Railway Line. This is one of the, this is a mod that I installed. Um, we're going to be doing between Brockenhurst and Limington Pier. This is a line I know very well. Um, a line uh, that I know very well. Um, well, actually, I know the, the main line a lot better, but this is uh, another line on the, the side line that goes off to Limington Pier. We're going to be going Brockenhurst to Limington Pier, and then Limington Pier back to Brockenhurst. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there is a scenario uh, in the career mode that allows you to go from Brockenhurst to Limington Pier, but there's none that goes from Limington Pier back to Brockenhurst, um, but I want to do the return, so we're going to do a, we're going to do a quick drive, we're going to go to Limington Pier, and make sure we stop at Limington Town on the way there, and then we're going to go back to, um, back to Brockenhurst after that, so that's going to be our, our trip today, we're in the class 450, the 4 car version, uh, you can have a 4 car, 8 car, or 12 car, you don't have 12 cars, they don't operate these on uh, the, um, uh, on this line, uh, on the southwest line between Weymouth and London Waterloo, they don't operate that. I think they do on the uh, Portsmouth direct line. Pretty sure they operate the 12 cars on those, but they operate four cars. I don't think I've ever seen an eight car either. Uh, no, I have. That's a lot. I've seen like one or two eight cars. I don't think I've seen many, and I use this line very frequently. Um, well, not between Brockenhurst and Limington, mostly between uh, uh, on the main line. Um, but anyway, this is what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to go ahead and jump into the four car service, and uh, I'll see you guys in the game. Alrighty guys, well, I don't need to cockpit nice and quickly. We are here in the uh, in the train. I can uh, show you the outside. Here we are, we're at Brockenhurst train station. It's currently snowing, we selected winter, so it's snowing. Uh, it always seems to snow when I select the winter, but I don't really care, it uh, makes it a little bit nicer. Um, we do sometimes get snow as I was recording this since January, we do sometimes get snow in January, uh, February time. Sometimes in March, uh, we have had it in late March before, but I'm pretty sure, no, yeah. Um, we do get sometimes we do get sometimes in March, so it is kind of realistic, I guess. Um, we don't always get snow, but uh, yes, it's not snowing right now anyway. Um, we're down here in uh, at Brockenhurst at the moment. We're going to go heading to uh, Limington Pier. We're going to go ahead and open the doors, let the passengers on, and uh, we're here at Platform Four A, which is uh, completely realistic. Um, and there's another train coming now on Platform One. Um, since of uh, well, the COVID situation, um, they've been having a lot of passengers uh, come onto this platform here. Um, so they have a lot, sorry, a lot of passengers, a lot of trains. They, they stop here and they wait here all day um, at the moment. So th that is a thing that's happening at the moment with these uh, these class 444s. These are the 444s or these are the 450s. Um, and these have been stopping here all day recently um, doing services. They've been going in the morning, doing the uh, early runs to Brockenhurst and then just staying here. Normally they go on to London Waterloo, but they haven't been recently. Um, so this is actually quite realistic, to be honest with you. Um, and we'll see other trains maybe on the line. I don't know, but we well we won't see any once we get past of this junction here. We might see another train coming through here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a single line all the way to uh, Limington Pier. So we're gonna go ahead and get going. Let's go ahead and put it into drive. We could do it through here. I normally do it through here. Um, but we'll go ahead and put it into drive through here. There we go. So that's that. Um, we could go like this anyway. Let's go like this. Why not? Press A. Release the brakes. And then we will get driving. We've got to make sure we press the AWS and knowledge. The only problem with this, there you go. So that's, uh, that's idle there. Let's see that. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, so I normally use the thing on the screen, but uh, we use this. The only thing is, if you go out here, I'm going to press F4 so I can. If we go out into here, I'll press F4 because if the AWS comes on, then we we have to we'll go on to um, emergency brakes. You know, it's happened to me plenty of times. So it happens as well, but still, we're leaving the station, guys. Speed limit of 40. Here, um, it says 90 on that tracks. Um, we've got to look out for the speed limit signs here. Um, so we're going to head up to 40. It's also, it's snowy and it's wet on the line and it's icy. So the, it's going to take us a little bit longer to stop. These trains have very good stopping capabilities. I'm honestly, I'm not lying. I've done plenty of tests on them. You know, coming into platforms at 60 mile per hour and pretty much stopping by the end of them on a 10 carriage service. So on the 444s, I think I would say the 444 is a little bit better than stopping the 450, but the 450 has a higher top end speed. Like when I've done a test and I've seen videos on it, the 450 just edges the 444 in terms of this their standard configuration of the five carriages and the four. I seem to find that the 450s, uh, so the, the yeah the 44, the 450s are faster than the 450s. No, the 450s are faster than the 444s. There's so many numbers. It's a bit of a tongue twister. 45 is the limit here, so you can see there. 
Uh, we're about 40 at the moment, so that's good. We'll stick it there. Have a little look. There we go, lovely. So this is a different configuration as well. This is the 444. Let me go back to here and press this on so I can see if the AWS comes on. Uh, we'll go to here. So the... Um, we're speeding here as well. Let's uh, slow ourselves up a little bit. We don't have any uh, point system in here. We're not doing a career mode. If we were doing a career mode, we'd have to completely keep an eye on the speed. Um, but yes, if the in the 444s... Oh, he's going to slow right down now. Let's uh, slow right down. There we go. Uh, yeah, so in the 444s, they, uh, it's two-seat configuration, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, but it's, the, the carriages are a lot longer, a lot... Uh, but I would say probably the same width, maybe a little bit thinner. Um, but you get more kind of seats, if you know what I mean, because there's more... It's, it's too wide, but there's loads more seats downwards, if that makes sense. Uh, like along the carriage, because it's a longer carriage. And these are three, then two. So you kind of get the same amount, but you don't. I, th I would say the 450s are slightly wider. This is more of a, a train that I would say you would use, like, for example, in this line, where it's just short stations, not far apart, and they're only small platforms, because it's easy to get on and off of. And they do four-car configuration of them, which makes them easier to get into bit, the to smaller platforms. There you go, there's the AWS, we'll go ahead and cancel that and we'll get the uh, the warning come up. Let's press E down here and that will uh, activate this. So, yeah. Just bringing out a load of facts for you guys, because why not? Um, look at that guys, that's absolutely beautiful. Screenshotable moment right there. Oh, we got AWS. Oh, we just did it in time. This is what happens. Every time you go external, they put the AWS on. You know, trying to get a nice screenshot for your thumbnail. And you get that. And yes, guys, I do get my screen, uh, my, most of my screenshots through stream. Stream? Steam. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it doesn't work. But this one, it does. So that's all good. All right. We can go up to speed. A bit of a speed here. Let's get up to 60 now. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I know so much about these trains because I, I travel them on... Uh, Tried on this line so many times. Um, it is my local line, so I know about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I've done this line, I think, about, I would say, four or five times now in my life, maybe six. Every other day. Um, I've been over here on the Isle of Wight as well when I go to the Isle of Wight. Um, so this basically, this this here will take us to Limington Town, which is a nice little town, a little seaside town. And then it'll take you to Limington Pier. Um, and uh, there's not. Loads. Uh, well, I say Limited, there's not loads. It's this beautiful place. We've got a nice pub down the front. Um, and uh, connections, like I say, to the ferry, which can take you to Yarmouth, Isle of Wight. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, but this will, it, it's good if you don't want to drive onto the ferry, but you can drive. It's not really that bad to drive on the ferry. I've driven over the ferry to Isle of Wight many a times. Um, slowing down here to a 50 now. We've uh, got that open. We wanted to go that, like that. But if we go like this, we can make sure we read the signs. There we go. Down to 50. Perfect. There we go. This train is a very simple train to drive. Um, I would say it's probably one of the more simpler ones. Um, in terms of when I go, when you have to start using this here, which is sometimes the main brake, and then you have this as a, a minor brake, I call it. I don't actually know what the, the technical term is for it, but um, if you do have to use it, then I would... I, uh, I always keep this up because it just gets a lot more easier because you have to have this, this this thing here so you can put the brakes on, blah, blah, blah. But if it's like this, and it, most electric trains just seem to just be A uh, A and D on the thing, and then obviously that's A is to go faster, D is to go slower, or brake um, on the system. So uh, 50 here. Um, but now, because I'm so used to using this, I've got to make sure I look at the signs. Um, you can go outside by pressing... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't like it. Well, you can go outside. Oh, that's the other side. This is the uh, the uh, train inspector. What's it called? There, the uh, what's the word? What the, what's the word I'm looking for? The the, the tester, the train drive. Oh yeah, what's it called? Um, we call it driving instructor. The train instructor, I guess. There you go. He, he sits there. That's his seat. Let's get an outside view here. If we go like this, and I should press this here. There you go. So it's saying it's a 50 still. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't see another sign. So we're about to come up onto Limington Town. It's not very long at all, this trip. Like I say, AWS, knowledge. There we go. Uh, just slightly above. I don't know, obviously, like in terms of this game. I've got to sound the horn here in a second. I don't know how it works with the. Uh, 
in like real life, because you have points in this and you lose points, blah 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 blah, and it tells you and it finds you whatever if you speed. But in real life, like I, I, I know train drivers have to be very vigilant and stuff like that. They have to make sure they, uh, you know, watch everything very carefully. They have to just stay all the time. I just realised we don't have the wiper on. Uh, maybe that's some knowledge. Let me just turn the wiper on. That's the wiper button. Oh, we've got to slow right down. Slowing, slowing, slowing a little bit fast. It's all good. Over into the centre now of Limington. Slow ourselves right down. I'm trying to look for the wiper button. Am I being blind? I think I am. Can't see it. I know there is one. I think it's this. No, it's not. It's this. No, it's not. Oh, what did I just press? That's the... Yeah, we need that. That's the pantograph. Oh! Let's remember that, I'm nearly crashing. I'm only not crashing, but. Trying to stop at the station. That's annoying. I'm overshot slightly. Um, yeah, that front carriage would not be able to because that step isn't on line with the platform, so that's fine. Let's turn that annoying bell off. I'm not messing around with that. Where's the wipers? Is it. It's that. I knew it was something. I knew it was one of, I knew it was one of those three keys, and it's one I didn't press. Oh well. Right, there we go. The doors are open. Having in this snowy day. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if the auto will very be operating today in the snow, but yellow buses don't have yellow buses here. They have uh, the red ones that they call them. Um, they're more buses. These, these are actually called yellow buses. These are more buses. Um, they operate here. Well, they are they still called the well, work used to be called Wilson Dorset, but they got bought out by uh, more. So I think they're still more buses, and um, they operate here. Um. Any other thing with this train as well, the 450, you notice it um, has this thing where it like it doesn't shut off, but like you accelerate. Oh, I'm going to be speeding a bit. Let's make sure we don't speed. Um, it will like accelerate. It, like, like it will sit, you, you'll, you'll go for you'll set like two two knots of speed, and it'll go just up to 20, and then it bottoms out 20, then waits to 25, then it bottoms out a bit, and then it gets like 40, then it gets a load of speed. Um, and at first I had the glitch and I thought it was like, well I don't have the glitch, I think it might be a real, I don't know if it is a real thing. I find I get it more with the 450, sometimes you don't get it. I don't know if it's a real life thing, but um... AWS, AWS. Thank you very much. So now we're going around the fishing port. Um, I'm going to sound the horn again here for some weird reason. Maybe to uh, let them know that the, uh, let the captain know the ferry that we're... Uh, Coming in, there we go. And we'll bring her to a stop here slowly but surely. 25% braking. Slowly bring her to a stop. There we go. Perfect. Later on a little bit more. You can see the, this is a two car stop, it's a four car stop. I think already the tr train should be on the platform. Yes, it is. So it doesn't really make much of a difference. We can go anywhere here. I um, mean, we've got two anyway. That's what they normally do. They send to stop about here. Bring it to a stop. Perfect. There you go. Wiper can be turned off. No, nope, that's not the wiper. I keep doing that. Uh, there we go. And um, we'll go outside. There we go. We'll keep the wipers moving. Um, doors are open. End of this quick drive uh, scenario. There you go. Well done. You've reached the end of quick scenario. Scenario. We'll see you guys on the return leg back to Brockenhurst at 2 p.m. See you guys in a second. All right, guys. We're back in. Uh, we are going to leave it 2:02. You'll see 2:02 on the clock up here. Uh, see you there on there. We're going to set that into drive, like so. Press the E there. Sorted. Um, let's go ahead and get this trip going back. I'm excited for this. It's going to be good. Um, so yeah, these trains they actually run three on the hour. Um, basically, they have like three that run every hour. Um, and they go, it's uh, normally at the 17 and it's something like 58, something like that. But they have they have three that run on the hour. So that, that seems pretty good. I mean, it's a good service along here. The, the driver most of the day isn't stopping. Um, and it's quite a quite a quick, quite, you know, if you want to get into Brockenhurst and get on towards... You, know, you have to do a change, but a lot of the time there's a lot of trains going into Brockenhurst every like 25, 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, it's def definitely very good. Uh, we're leaving at 2.02, so we're going to give everyone another minute or so to get on. They can just press the button now if they need to get on. Um, and then we'll uh, start up here. Let's uh, go ahead and put the lights on here. We'll do it outside. There we go. We'll have that light on. 
there we go, perfect. We're going to class 450 once again, guys, the 4 carriage. Uh, here, I think you can probably put an 8 carriage on, but obviously going up to the next station, you couldn't. And going up to Brockenhurst, you could, but there's no point, it's just a 4 carriage. Um, I've never known it, every time I've uh, gone on this service, I've never known it to be busy enough to even have a 4 car, really. I mean, it's probably, I've, yeah, I mean, it might be busy in the summer. I mean, imagine when the Isle of Wight Festival's on, it might be really busy because of people going through Brockenhurst onwards. Um, but I wouldn't know, to be honest with you. Uh, if it if it was busy, because uh, yeah, I wouldn't know because I've never been to the Isle of Wight Festival. So yeah. Anyway, let's uh, wait till 2:02, and then we will leave dead on. There we go. Let's try not to speed here. Nicely done. Look at that. Lovely. There we go. And there's it. Comes out of the station. Very realistic. I hope we're not speeding over 20. No, we're not. Look at that. Oh, what? Look. That is just. That is just pro driving right there. Controlling the speed. Not even knowing what it is from outside. Right. Beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and put the. Uh, I don't want to do that. Just go to the. No, I don't want to do that. There we go. Right. Train station is coming up here. There we go. Big brakes. It's going to take a little bit longer to slow down here as the track's quite wet and icy. There we go. Slow right down. Perfect. There you go, keep going. And there we go. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Like a pro. I just about did it. Just. I want to say that. Uh, I'm not doing that. Don't know why. I just do. Um, where else are we gonna do signal bell? No, that's what we wanna do. No, no, no. We're good. Cool. Guys, as well, just a word of warning. Um, sometimes this can lock on if you brake hard and you set emergency brake setting. This tur setting turns on right here. It's called DRA. So now, now, oh, now watch. If I accelerate. It won't accelerate away. So make sure you go hit, turn it off, it will accelerate. So that's just a tip for you guys. So if you guys did it, I had that problem when I first started driving this train, as well with the, the bell the bell noise you hear. Now beep, 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 straight after you turn the AWS off or anything like that, it comes on randomly. Um, you press the button E, and that does this down here. So yeah, there you go. That's, that's, uh, that's that. Let's uh, get moving once again. And uh, we can accelerate now up to 50, I believe. So, because 100% power, why not? There's 40 miles per hour. Another honk of the horn. Oh, I've got out my simulator. That was uh, that was <laughs> quite lucky. I don't know what the hell happened there. There we go. 50. And then there should be a 60 zone coming up as well soonish. Uh, I don't know when it will come up, but it should be. Uh, so, so there's actually a lot of um, houses here as well. This is what I can see. There's a lot of houses. This is a big housing estate here. It goes right alongside the road, and then the road bears off here to a place called Pennington, and then this uh, road carries on. There's a little road down the side here, and I'm getting the bell warning once again. It does every time you're outside, it does it every single time. I just smacked my mic that time. Um, but yeah, it always does it. I don't know why. At least you can actually hear it. Some trains you can't even hear it go off, so you're just screwed. You literally have to be in the cockpit at all times. Um, let's have a look at this closer view. 
I like this side for some weird reason. A little bit of speed here. Up to uh, 50 once again. Perfect. Actually, I think it could be a 60 now. Yeah, it is a 60, isn't it? Goes to a 60 in a second. Let's quickly check that. No, oh, it's still 50. It's 60 in a second. Yeah, so I haven't, I haven't missed a sign. It's all good. You've got to look for it though. This is why you got to be obedient. You've got to read all the signs. You've got to know what some of the signs mean. Like some of them, I still don't know what they mean. So, but I don't play this game all the time. So, but I do like it. I play this line so much. I played this line probably the most. Uh, let's wait for that sign any second, and then we'll switch up to 60. It says 96 MP, and then that's us there. 60. We'll go. We're a little bit, a little bit below 50, anyway. So by the time we get past the end of that 50 sign, uh, we'll be able to switch up to 60 as well. But yeah, I still haven't really decided what my favourite train is. I like the 444s a lot. I would go on them. I think I go on, I would say I go on them more regularly. Um, but the 450s as well. Uh, they've actually cut back on the 450s on on the line recently. Uh, I don't know why. Um, has they changed some of the timetables? And um, they've cut back on the uh, on the services, which I, I really I don't know why. Because I like the 450s. I like to get a bit of a mix, but you know. Oh well, can't get everything. Hopefully, I can get one soon. There we go. So 60 mile per hour, and I believe if we come onto this track. It slows right down to 35 before we get to Broken Earth. The only thing is, as well, here you need to be. You haven't got very good visibility. Um, as you know, we're, we're it's, it's snowing and it's uh, the water's on the, the window. It's not enough water, like not putting the white on, There's no point. You could if you want, like we did last time, but um, yeah. Might as well put the wiper on now. Now I notice the water is annoying me. And actually, yeah, it's probably better than anyway to read the sign. So, what's this say? It's going to be 45. So, the one with the triangles around them, leaving it says the speed limit. There you go. Just made that to 45. I think it switched to 30 up here. And this is good. I know this bit of the track. Like, I guess once you've done it enough times, you'll learn the track. Obviously, if you're a driver on the line. But, um, and like, if you're doing the whole the London line, you have to learn it eventually. If you do it so many times, you know, you do it five times a week. All day, it's just six, seven hours. You're going to learn it eventually. Where every most signs are, and know roughly what the speeds are at certain areas. Um, so yeah, it goes pretty slow here. I think it drops to 35 in a second. Or that's just 94 MP. Uh, this, this should, should be like a warning sign. I haven't seen one of those. It drops to 35 here. It's like I can see it though at the distance. So it's all good, and we slowed ourselves down just before we got there, so it's all good. There we go. Um, and I think it goes up to back up to 50 again as we come back in. Um, this always happens as well. Whenever the two trains leave Brock's uh, station, if one's on the main line, this line just here, going to uh, I don't know Bournemouth in the Bournemouth direction, or almost to Weymouth, um, the train, this train will speed up on this outside line to like 50, and as it comes up here, it will slow right down because it's got to go down to 35. As I'm going to hit that AWS, and then the, oh no, the bell, little bell, the ringy, horrible noise bell doesn't sound. So it goes back up to a 50 here. Um, anyway, so the trains then a lot of the time are like paralleling each other for like a minute or so. And then this train slows down as it goes off into the Limington line. So uh, yeah, there we go. Let's uh, go back up to a 50. Um, there we go. 25% power. Look at that going over the... Uh, a little bit wobbly here as we go over the... Uh, uh, the, the rails to switch lines. You can switch here, but you can actually go right over to platform one if you want to. Here, go over four lines. That's be a 40 mile per hour to cross there. There we go. As we come in, this is pretty much very realistic to real life as well. Um, there we go. Let's uh, slow right the way down. I actually, didn't realize we're that close to the station, so we have to slow right down here. Why have we got. I don't even know. Who cares? It's all good. It's absolutely perfect. It's absolutely perfect.
There we go. Perfect. I don't know why the train's now accelerating. I have no control over the train. So ignore this. <laughs> this is just a train driving in the background. Brake. 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 There we go. Well, moved up a little bit. Um, There you go, guys. I hope everyone's uh, enjoyed that trip. That was certainly fun. Um, this is probably... Uh, this is pretty much where this is. Yeah, this is where they are. Uh, that's pretty much perfect. Cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick drive scenario. Um, I want to get rid of this. I hate this. It's so annoying. Okay, now I've clicked. Just going to end it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I greatly uh, enjoyed it. Um, doing the Brockenhurst to um, Limington Pier. Uh, I'll be bringing you soon, Samson to Bournemouth, um, which is going to be interesting because uh, I know that I know that whole line very very well. That especially that area of the line as well. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be brilliant. I um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode and uh, telling me some facts um, and different things. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.